is homogeneous square in space. That's our goal. Okay, so show us your circle and the radius squares. Okay. I'm gonna, I drew a line here to make, make the shape of um, the square here. So that, so that when I cut squares. So that it won't overlap. So this piece that I'm cutting off, I'm gonna use in the circle later on. So that we have complete radius squares. So maybe if you do this that twice here, like yeah. two of them like that, like mm -hmm. one more, and then the three pieces that we do like this, we can cut up and then maybe stick it on, like different pieces to make the shape. Or we can cut it on with the little pieces <laughs> and face it on. Okay. What are, the, what are the pieces you have left? Little pieces from these bags. And what are you going to do with them? I'm going to throw them out with this. Okay. And do you think they'll all fit? Um, we, yeah. will, we would have to cut like a little bit off. Like okay. And you're going to glue them on? Okay. All right. So, how many radius squares fit into the circle? Like three and a little bit more. Okay. Three and a little bit. Discovered that it's three and a little bit. Let me see. I see blue peeking through where the yellow was. So, is that why you're saying three and a little bit? All right, what do you have? We have a, a bigger giant circle. circle. Okay, and what else do you have? Um, four radius giant squares. Giant squares, radius squares. Okay, how many of those radius squares do you think will fit in the circle? Um, I'd say three and a little bit because, uh, four. Um, because in our last one, it was three and a little bit, and I think that all circles, you have the same amount yeah, of radius too. squares yeah. inside. Okay, you ready to try? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you guys did it. We yes. did it! Yay. How many radius squares fit in your giant circle? Three and a little bit. Can you show the three? 